you're looking to buy a cheap family car for a thousand pounds to fifteen hundred pound ish that doesn't mean you have to buy a car that looks pretty dull and boring yes they might have low miles and small economical engines but that's just not for everyone the mg zt is based on the rover 75 which has a bit of a granddad image the zt tried to appeal to younger buyers by adding the mg badge restyling the exterior to look more racy with its body kit they got rid of all the chrome, they got rid of the wood inside, and they stiffened the suspension, and I think they did a good job overall. The Generation 1 ZT looks much better in my opinion, with its distinctive twin headlamps and boomerang style rear spoiler. The Generation 2, although pretty much the same car, did lose some of its character with its facelift. The models to go for are the 2.5 V6 petrol, which has 190 brake horsepower, check it's had its belts done, or the 1.8 turbo petrol with 160 brake horsepower, check it's had its head gasket done. Available as a four-door saloon or an estate, overall it's a good sized, safe, family, powerful car. It's a future classic, but it'll never be worth mega money. Looking online, there are a few decent ZTs, saloon or estate, with good history, nice condition and respectable mileage. Prices around the £1,000 to £1,500 mark. The Lexus IS200. Built to directly compete with the BMW 3 Series, it was available as a four-door saloon or estate also known as the Sportback. Under the bonnet is a 2 litre 6 cylinder engine which sounds really nice. It has a 6 speed manual gearbox, available in automatic as well. It's rear wheel drive and it has 155 brake horsepower, but when you're driving it, it does feel faster. It has a modern, short, muscular design, it looks pretty classy. And it was this car that started the trend for the clear rear crystal style lights. They look great on this Lexus, but they don't look so great on a Citroen Saxo. There's the S, the SE and the Sport. They're all really well equipped, with the Sport having the limited slip diff. The car feels really well made, the interior is nice, there's lots of toys. I especially like the dashboard clocks, it reminds me of a chronograph watch. The car was a huge success, you don't see many about anymore, but there's still a few nice examples for sale for about £1,000 to £1,500, including the Sportback. Ideally, it's the IS200 Sport that you want to buy, and don't be put off by cars that have done 100,000 miles. The Saab 95. Unfortunately, Saab are no longer in business, but they did leave us with this facelift 95 model, available in estate or four door saloon. Its facelift is very distinctive. I really like how it looks, especially the front end, but they seem to have forgot about the rear end, but overall, it's a good looking, stylish car. I like how Saab always did its adverts, linking it to its Saab grip and fighter jets, which inspired them, especially with the cockpit style dashboard. The inline 4 cylinder 2.3 turbo 260 brake horsepower hot aero are not in budget I'm afraid but the 2.3 turbo 180 brake horsepower and 210 brake horsepower is in budget along with the 2 litre turbo 150 brake horsepower version. Saab were always focused heavily on safety, it's a big strong safe car with very stylish looks and now a very rare Saab badge. Online I found quite a few 9.5s, saloon and estate, both the 2 litre turbo and 2.3 turbo, ranging from £950 to £1500, with reasonable mileage for the age, good history and in a good straight nice condition. The Ford Focus ST170, more of a mid-size family car, it's been cheap for a while now and underrated, but it's starting to be appreciated. It has a 2 litre 16 valve engine, with no prizes for guessing, 170 brake horsepower. It does look a bit plain, Ford held back on the spoilers and body styling, but it does have 17 inch rims, a great chassis, the suspension was lowered and stiffened for nice flat cornering, and it has a close ratio 6 speed manual gearbox. You do have to drive this Focus quite hard for it to perform well, it feels like it needs more power, but it's a decent family car, the interior is modern and sharp, with big bolstered seats, it comes in 3 and 5 doors and an estate. Prices are going up for low mileage examples, but £1,000 to £1,500 will get you a decent example with average to highish mileage, with good history and good bodywork, ideally in the imperial blue colour. At this point, I know you're thinking, James, these big thirsty cars are 20 years old with 100,000 miles, but don't let that put you off. They can handle that kind of mileage. Yes, it's true. It is a risk. You could get your fingers burnt, but they're all for sale right now. Somebody will buy them. Just do your research on the car you want, drive it, check the bodywork, check it's got some good history. It is a bit of a gamble, but you could also bag a bargain. The Jaguar X-Type. This Jaguar had quite a rough start. Although they sold well, it was called the Mondeo in drag, 
as it's based on the Mondeo and it shares some mechanical parts. But let's not forget though, the Mondeo was a very good car, and we all know who likes the Mondeo ST. It was available as a four-door saloon and later an estate, which I think looks a lot better and it's much more practical. There are a few engines to choose from, but ideally you want the 195 brake horsepower 2.5 V6 or the 230 brake horsepower 3 litre V6, and they both sound really nice. Also buy them in the sport trim, as it looks a lot more sporty and less grandad like because they've removed all the chrome. They're both all wheel drive and try to get one with a manual gearbox. The interior inside is looking a bit dated and they're not as big inside as what you think, but they are very comfortable. If you like the older traditional Jag looks, this could be an option for you. I found a few Jags online, the 2.5 V6 Sport and 3 litre V6 Sport, both nice condition cars with good history and about 100,000 miles. Ideally though, you want to win an auction, like for this 2 litre V6 Jaguar Sport, lots of history, nice condition, £620. The Alfa Romeo 159. I'd like to include it in this video, it's a good sized family car, it looks gorgeous, but in this budget they're all really high milers, 160, 170,000 miles, and they're all diesels, so it's best to save up and get a nicer example. So, to summarise, there are some great family cars in this budget, but be careful, do your research on the car you want to buy and any problem areas you might have, and you could just bag yourself a nice little bargain, but it is slightly risky. Please like this video if you thought it was useful, please subscribe, I'll see you next time.